Oh, well, we're excited the Netherlands won, so we want to celebrate them with today's travel segment. Travel and friend of the show, travel expert Troy Pietenbrink, is here to talk about visiting the Netherlands. And, you know, to see them win, that's going to really up the amount of interest, right, in folks oh, heading over to the Netherlands. Yeah, absolutely. We've seen this in the past, too. I mean, uh, Iceland's appearance in 20, uh, 2018 drove tourism after that, I th expect the same thing will happen. So if you're thinking about going to the Netherlands next year, I'd probably be looking and buying some tickets now. That is really good advice. And I've never been to Netherlands, but I want to visit Amsterdam. Obviously, the capital, very iconic for the parties and the nightlife. Yep, Everyone absolutely, knows about Amsterdam. Absolutely. Although I should mention, those are limited to the weekends. Everyone good thinks it's a party good town 24-7. It's not. And look at that beautiful scenery, the tulips. Oh, so I think much when people nature. think of the Netherlands, they immediately think of Amsterdam. They think of the tulips. They think of the windmills. Right. Uh, the canals, those sort of things. And those are all there. I mean, and that's the beauty of it. Uh, it's a really great country for Americans to visit. Easy to get to. We do have direct flights out of Dulles. Um, uh, Delta Airlines, KLM, both do direct flights. 90% uh, of the country speaks English. Um, so easy to get around. Easy to get around. Uh, very easy to get around, actually. Biking, you probably folks are familiar seeing all the bicyclists. Uh, they take biking very seriously there. Good to uh, know. But it's a very flat country, so it's an easy place to go if you're into tours on bikes. And we were talking, I had gone to Croatia uh, back in September and did a bike trip, and the bike tour is the way to go because we stopped and ate these amazing meals. And we were talking about the culinary experience in the Netherlands, and you were saying there's a lot of good food Oh, there. a lot of great food, and especially if you're a seafood person. Love so seafood. you got to love the seafood. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, in general, it's just overall good value. A uh, little pricier compared to some other cities, but you can still find good deals. Uh, believe it or not, I was looking at airfares. You can go for less than $400 mid-April, wow. prime tulip season. Really? Connecting through Iceland, so you could double it up. And maybe do a layover there and experience a little Iceland before you head on your way. Absolutely. Plus, the other thing to think about, and we talked about this earlier, the fact is once you go to Europe, you oftentimes want to visit other countries. Right. Very easy to go to some other places Hop once you're Germany, in Germany, Belgium. Germany, Belgium, and again, great food in Belgium, so... Oh, now I'm hungry and I want to travel. Where can everyone get in touch with you? Uh, follow me online at The Gay Traveler. Perfect. Great tips from Troy. Uh, Netherlands is on my list for sure. Marissa. Yeah.